So I'd like back. to introduce Alan Neck, our next yeah. speaker. So the topic they asked me to come and speak about tonight is measuring your social fire. Now, in some ways, I wish I was one of the earlier speakers this morning, not because you guys are a little bit tired and you know it's late in the day. I still have my energy level because I would have challenged every speaker here not to use the term social media because I hate the term. It's social marketing because that's what we're doing. Mo we're here because we're marketing to people and we're doing social things. Media are tools and once we get that through our head, we can talk about what the goal of social marketing is which is creating a fire. And why do I love this analogy of fire? Now, some of you may have heard me use this analogy before, and I've written about it. But because fire, the warmth, the glow of a fire, draws people together for a common purpose. And this has been going on since the days of the caveman. They would have gr squatted, grunt, talked about how they sharpened a bone to make a an arrowhead or a spearhead, maybe organize the day's hunt. That's what people have been doing forever. You know, uh, Sam gave you that history, you know, of communication. Communication started with a grunt. And Kat uh, Mendelstein, I don't know if she's still here, I had a lovely chat with her after her session, I was talking about 30 years, you know, in the computer space and using social technology. And I was thinking about that. I said, yeah, I was on there. And then I realized, and it was about 1983 when I first used social technology when I logged onto the first bulletin board as a roommate at university. And then I realized, well, I have 50 years of using social communication to get what I want. And this goes back to the measurement panel with Sam and Rick and all those guys. I was born, I cried. That's a social, me and I'll use the term media, my, the human cries a medium. It's a medium. And I cried, and I knew, was that hug from my mom worth something? Sure, it stopped my crying. So it, it's measurable, wherever Sam is. The hugs are measurable. You can measure success. Now, it may not be that immediacy, but it's there. But let's get back to this concept of the social fire. How do you measure a fire? That's really the question. You're here, you're spending your time, and, as, and time in organization is money. And Sam Fiorello is right. Ultimately, companies have to make money from what they're doing. Now, there may not be empirical evidence of you know, TV commercials working, but they know they run a TV commercial, sales go up. They run a TV commercial, sales go down, bad commercial. Uh, you know, there's some techniques in there that you can do things to measure. You can stop all other marketing and just do your social for a few weeks and see how it does. There's all things, and there are companies that actually go out and do that. But measuring your social fire, what do you want to measure? The height of the fire? The girth? The heat? The BTUs of it? Or do you want to measure how attractive the fire is? How it's bringing in your community? And to me, that's what you want to start measuring. And then the sediment analysis. Is it bringing in your unpaid brand advocates? And I've been quoted many times, and that I always say, you know, you can have 100,000 followers, but one unpaid brand advocate is worth a million of those. If those 100,000 don't care about you, you don't care about them. So what can we measure? Well, anybody knows that there's three elements to a fire. You need a fuel source, you need oxygen, and you need heat. And that, those three things, are, you can get very empirical evidence on what they are. And then you can measure the end result. So your fuel source. To me, these are your followers, your fans, your contacts in LinkedIn, your email list. And people don't think email is not social communication. Do you get it back? Do you have two-way conversations? It's social, so don't discount it. It's hard work to get a good quality fuel source. That's why you can't go out and buy followers and buy fans, because they're not going to be a good quality fuel source. Think of having a bushel of dry leaves. They burn beautifully, but do they last? No. If you go out and find some pine that's been freshly cut, is it going to burn? Yes. Is it going to burn nicely and be a warm and nice fire? No, it's going to be a stinky one. You go out and find some old hardwood that's well aged. It might be a little harder to get started, but once it burns, it's got a nice pleasant odor. It br draws people in because it's got a beautiful color. That is what you want to do. And that's something you can measure. You can count your fans, your followers, and you can use tools despite what Sam's telling you about clout and yes, people's uh, bad mouth it, and there are lots of problems with gaming and things like Pure Index and Twiddleizer and a dozen other tools. I'm not right, but you don't look at someone's score because the scores are a meaningless number. Because it's, I always use the analogy great, you got a score of 80. 80 what? You know, tell someone your car does 80. Is it 80 miles per, per hour or is it 80 miles to the gallon? Big difference, so it doesn't mean anything. But you can use it to find people who are passionate about your topic. Find them, investigate them. This is using the most important measurement tool, your brain. 
See what they're talking about. Are they a big supporter of your industry, of your product, of your brand? Or are they, are they out there bad-mouthing you? And then you have to come up with a strategy about them. Because if you say, wow, look at all these followers we have, and they're all there ready to pounce on you at your first mistake, you're not going to have a nice warm fire. You're going to have a forest fire that you're going to be fending off with reputation management. Then you need your oxygen. To me, oxygen is my content, what I'm putting out there. These are my blog posts, my tweets, my status updates, my email marketing efforts. These are my content. And just think about you know, the cottage or wherever you might have ever been, where you see a big, you know, several cords of wood out back, and the air everywhere. Do they spontaneously combust? No. But you can measure how often you're putting out content. How many blog posts? Are you doing a daily blog post? Are you doing a weekly blog post? Are we tweeting out 20 times a day, 3,000 times a day? You can do a, a measurement on quality. What is the topic of our content that we're putting out? How much is it positive? How much is it response to customer complaints? Was the response a helpful response? Was it not a helpful response? So we can actually measure the quality of the oxygen that's surrounding our fuel. And that is part of very quantified measurement that people get. Then you need to get the heat, the spark. What's going to ignite that group? And this is the hardest part to measure. And to me, this is when one of your fuel sources says, that resonated with me. Let me share it. It's the share. You now went beyond your fuel source. They're saying to people, come to this fire. Take a look at it. Come join me. We've got this great glow going. It's warm, we got some marshmallows here to roast. Come on, we got some hot dogs. Have a beer, let's have a conversation around this brand, around this product. Think of the glow of this of this projector here. We all came here to gather around its glow. And is it being a successful fire for you? You were drawn to it through social marketing efforts, most likely. You heard about it from somebody. You probably told somebody you were coming to it. Was it a successful one to me? I met at least, I say, a half dozen people I've never met before or wasn't even in touch with them on Twitter. And now we're going to be, I'm sure, communicating. To me, that's a successful engagement, why I came to this fire to talk to you. How many people here have met at least two people they had never met before? And you have contacts. There you go. So that's, to me, already, there's one of your pauses walk away. Forget all the great information. There's something. And now, if you can help that fire grow and say, yes. It's for my industry, it's for my personal growth. Whatever it is, it's a fire. You have to get passionate and you can start measuring it. And why do you have to start measuring things? And you have to quantify things. You want to draw that, create that nice campfire that's going to draw the people in. Share the beers, share the wine, share the marshmallows. If not, you get a forest fire. And we've heard some examples in, you know, today of bad opportunities, opportunities missed where competitors go out. Do you want to control the conversation? When you don't control the conversation and you're not, your advocates aren't even there to defend you, it is all the people who are against you, you get the forest fire. It sends your customers running. Add too much oxygen. If you tweet too much, if that's where all your social contact is, as the more you tweet, what does your follower account do? Ooh, it's going down. I'm going to cut back on my tweets. Oh, I'm doing this, it's growing. I may have found the right amount. When I do this amount, I get so many retweets. Putting out blog posts. Did the blog post draw more people to me? Did I get more comments? Did I get more people signing up for the RSS feed? Those are measurements that are telling you, am I creating a nice, warm, and welcoming fire? It's not about quantity. If you give a fire too much oxygen, kaboom. You get the BP oil spill, and they weren't there to manage it. And that's part of the key. And then when it comes to tools, I love Sam's analogy, and I've used it before. It's what's between you know, the ears. That's your best tool. There's lots of free tools out there that you can go and start using and measuring things. You, there are a lot of paid tools. You have to decide what is it worth. And one analogy, and I'm going to leave you with this thought, when it comes to tools and for measuring your fire, do you want to go to Ikea and get that free tape measure and pencil to measure it? Or do you want to go and buy the 200 and plus dollar Black & Decker laser guided tape measure that is accurate within half a millimeter? It depends what you want to measure. And on that kind of thought, think about your fire, think what you need to measure, and assign, align your tools and start measuring. Because without it, businesses won't make a profit, and the profit may not be today, it may be down the line. And thank you very much for having me in.